Hi everyone. Welcome to another exciting episode of Young and Yieldy. My name is Adele Yanulo Akinto, and today we'll be talking about body shaming. With me here is Oguzele Dolapo and Ibuka. Yeah. And Ibuka. So Dolapo, can you lead us in a short prayer? Heavenly Father, we say thank you for today. Thank you for your love. Thank you for everything you've done for us. So we say be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father and our God, we ask, O oh God, that as we go today in today's topic, you help us and guide us through it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever lesson that you want us to learn in this, O oh God, you shall bring it to us and then we shall be in parts of it in the name of Jesus. Amen. When Jesus might say, Amen. Amen. As I said before, the topic today is body shaming. And as the name implies, body and shaming. Shaming the body. So, Delapo, what do you understand body shaming to be? Okay, I would say body shaming is the act of mocking somebody's physical appearance. People, basically, it's all just about physical appearances. Ebuka? Degrading someone's physical appearance. Thank you. So, we have mocking and degrading physical appearances. Like, have you ever been body shamed in our beautiful legal city? Yes, I have. And how did you receive the unwanted information? I felt really bad at first, but then I had to take it in. Because even if I didn't take it in, there was nothing I could do, so I just had to. And if you Um, I don't really, I, didn't, I don't really know how I felt. Let me just put it that way. I don't know how I felt. It's just there. Do we feel body shaming has now like turned to the other day as a compliment? No. People do it a lot. People people have different motives to do things. People see it as a compliment. People just want to use it no, to shame I'm, you. I'm, I'm actually speaking about people that see you maybe after five months or maybe after lockdown. They are just seeing you for the first time and the first thing they are saying, wow, you are so big. They, they see it Is as a compliment. Is that a new way of greeting? That's the new trend of greeting people now. Yeah, that's the new trend of greeting people, obviously, yes. Especially by the... Do not talk. <laughs> I think it means by the older generation. So, body shaming basically is bringing down people's self-esteem by degrading their physical appearances. And it is really bad because it is even a sensitive, um, a sensitive topic in our society today. That people feel we should normalize. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm big is because I want you to reduce. No. But, um, Dolapo, do you feel brands that appreciate people that are extra size or medium size or that have specific size um, production, do you feel they are um, encouraging those sizes or just using them? I feel they are encouraging those sizes because it is rare for you to see, especially plus sizes, it is rare for you to see a brand that's going to focus on them or that's going to be producing wares of their size. So I feel like they're encouraging them. Yeah, definitely. They're encouraging um, people to actually be comfortable in shopping for their items without having to be, let me put it in quote, left out of the whole society. But I feel body shaming is general now. Let's yeah. now take it um, section by section. We have fit, sometimes it's your shoe size, sometimes it's your underwear size, sometimes it's your um, skin color or your skin um, reactions scars, or, skin issues, or scars. So we know this information they give most times are really unwanted. Yeah. How do you react when? Have you ever been violent about it? No, I've never been violent. I, I can be angry when when the statements are being made, but violent, no. No, um, I've not been violent, and I think for most people, they they will not want to be violent because they don't want to be seen as the crazy people. Do you think people that react to body shaming, e.g., me? Do you feel people that react to body shaming and uh, take people's advice like? Perhaps you were plus size before, maybe a size 12, and then you just dropped like a size 8 or size 10. Mm -hmm. Do you feel the person was pressured to do that? Or yeah. it's just a personal decision? Yes, I feel like if the um, pressure, if the body shaming is too much, the person gets pressured, and definitely the person is just going to look for ways 
to do something about if it's the size of the body, if it's the um, if it's the skin color, skin color, if it's just something. Person just always has a way of looking for things to do about mm -hmm. it. Yeah, true. True. Um, um, I feel um, most guys, most guys are pressured to do it, but I, at the same time, while they are being pressured, it damages their self-esteem and stuff. So it can be a good thing in the fact that, yes, they improved on themselves, and it can be a bad thing because it might have, 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 it might have affected their mental health. I don't know why I'm blacking out now. The society today has really aided body shaming because it's, the, the rise in body shaming is alarming. They mm -hmm. will see you, you go to stores, and they're like, before you even step in, they tell you, your know, size is not here. Or you should see the next store. They, they are, they are um, majoring in plus size. In plus size yeah. So comments like this give opinions, and they affect you either ways. Do you feel when these opinions are said, you need to act on them? It's not necessary to act on them. If you're fine with how you are, if you're fine with whatever situation you're being body shamed for, I feel like you don't really need to act on it. And I, to me, I, it depends on the stores or the brands because it depends on how they put it. You can be like, hey, um, I'm so sorry, we don't have these sizes here. I feel you should not be attacked unless you are very crazy. I don't mean to be attacked by that statement because you don't really have it. But if... The person comes in an approach of like very violence, like uh, we don't have your size, why even this big, all those kind of stuff. I feel, yes, yeah, that is, yeah. you should feel attacked by it because that is a very wrong thing to do. So basically, we are all supporting that it should be a personal decision to, yes. to yeah. react the way you want to react to mm -hmm. their opinion. So finally, I want to ask you, Dolapo, have you been body shamed and when exactly were you body shamed? Um, when, I can't remember, but I know that there were, there was a period when I used to really like, in quotes, what we ladies now call the Ashewo dresses. And I really liked it. I always wanted to wear it. But then I have a very big stomach and you hear, walk on your stomach, this, 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 this. People say in nice ways, people, some people say in very terrible ways. But for me, I've tried working on it, but it wasn't just working. At some point, it got reduced, but the stress and body pains that come with it, so I just stopped, and then I'm fine the way I am. Ibuka? Mm, for me, I feel I've been on both receiving ends. I've body shamed someone or people before, which obviously I, I'll, I won't behave, but I've not changed, and I've been body shamed too, also. But I don't know. I didn't really take it as something that I should be attacked about. So when I did it to other people, I felt that they shouldn't be attacked about, that they shouldn't feel attacked because to me then I felt it was all jokes. And maybe growing up, I just felt that this stuff should not actually be funny because to some people, it really goes way, way deep down. Personally, I have been body shamed before because it even came from people that were really close to me. And when you are going out, they're like, ah, no, you, stay behind. You are sweating, or you know, all those little silly yeah, comments yeah. like, Oh, just stay behind. And do you have an anki? Ah, what is on Raju? All those silly, silly comments that they make to you when they are trying to like make you conscious of your present predicament. So, how did you react to it? How I reacted to it, I was, I took it to heart, and it really affected my self esteem because I barely posted pictures of my social. Media. What of your mental health? It affected my mental health too. Because I, I, was, I was even failing in school that I've said it. Because I was, I was so self-conscious uh, about acceptance in the society. Yeah. So when I worked on myself, when I became comfortable in my skin, whether they call me too thin or too fat, or you're already getting fat, I really don't see those comments as anything. As anything. So, Dolapo, what is your final word to people that are body shame and those that are body shamed? To everyone that has been body shamed, I would say that there's a part of the Bible that says God made us, we're wonderfully and fearfully made by God. So I, I believe that if God decided to make me this way, that I wasn't using any organics or it wasn't because of products or what I ate or blah, blah, blah. If God actually made me this way, I'm fine, I'm perfect. You should not even be affected by whatever anybody says. And for those who were the same, I would say, 
there's actually time for everything. No? What goes around comes around. So whatever you tell somebody today it might actually come back to you. So please learn to accept and love people the way they are. Um, for me, to people that are being body shamed, I, I only, I can only say don't take it to heart and don't really um, let it get in, don't let it get to you. And what do you say? Easier said. Yeah, it's like easier, it's easier said. said. It's easier said, but I don't really think I should have an advice because it is like victim blaming. So I feel there's nothing that should be said. But and to those that body shame, I actually say this: you won't know the amount of damage you are causing mm -hmm. until you're on the receiving end of the damage. Finally, body shaming is a really bad habit in our society that we have embraced so much with less importance. It is very bad to body shame, and it is even worse to be at the receiving end. Body shamers, please stop, as the victim here is not even the person you are body shaming, but you. Because after all you've said, you, you, you now look like a very, very bad, and you, you might be the cause of something bad that the person does to themselves. And, and then, for the person that is body shamed, take the... Take your comments the way you want to. Don't let anybody force you to do what you want. It is their opinion, and your body is your body. So far, it is not affecting your health, and you are comfortable in your skin. Do what makes you happy by the grace of God. Thank you.